Hi, Stefan Sartling here from Sartling Network. As you may know by now, I have been using uh, an iPad Air instead of my 11 inch MacBook Air exclusively. And uh, I must say I'm more than impressed of it. The only thing I can't do on it that I can do on a computer is uh, screen recording directly on the iPad so I can do screencasts. That's not possible on the iPad Air. For that I need uh, a computer. With a computer I can send uh, what's happening on the screen via AirPlay to my Mac and it works very good. But uh, that is cheating to me because I want to use the iPad Air exclusively without a computer. The other thing I can't do on an iPad Air is uh, downloading files. I can download files but uh, I can't find them on the iPad Air because Apple won't allow that. So I can only download images and videos uh, because these files I can find in the photo album, the photo app after the download, but uh, not other files, it's impossible and you can't use BitTorrent for example, Apple won't allow that, there isn't any BitTorrent apps in the App Store. So these kinds of things is not possible to do on an iPad Air, unfortunately, but otherwise I could um, actually replace my computer with this and I have done that already for over a month now. The only flaw with the iPad Air though is that it hasn't enough of RAM memory. RAM memory. It only has one gigabyte RAM memory and uh, that is not enough to use the iPad Air professionally with professional apps. For example when I video edit in iMovie and uh, when I'm done with that then the iPad Air is so slow and the apps start very slow and so on. So I often need to restart the complete iPad after that. So that's not good. And, and it's very often that apps resets to the default state and uh, it's not left where I left off in the app. And I hate that. So I really hope that Apple adds more RAM memory in the iPad, in the next iPad. Okay, bye!